Hello YouTube! So you may have noticed that my surroundings have changed just a little bit because I moved last week, hence why there was no Detroit Become Human episode posted last week. I was in the middle of moving and uh, I went on a trip as well, so didn't unfortunately have time to play any video games last week. So uh, we're going to make up for some lost time. I'm going to hop back into the game today. As always, feel free to like the video, comment your thoughts on how the playthrough is going, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also stream on Twitch if you want to come and hang out. I play all sorts of things. I'm a variety streamer there. I also love to do just chatting, hang out, catch up on life, the universe, and everything. My links to all my socials, including Twitch, uh, is in the description of this video. So feel free to go check me out on anything, Instagram, Twitter, whatever floats your boat. Let's hop into the game. Hey y'all. So, I done goofed. I may have played through three chapters and forgot to hit the record button. Thought I was recording the whole time, but apparently not. So I just found out you can go back and replay chapters. Um, as you can see, I've done the Capital Park chapter, I've done uh, Meet Kamsky, and I've done uh, Freedom March. So uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna start back from Capital Park. Now, there were a few QTEs that I goofed on that may affect the outcome. I don't know if I can repeat exactly what I did. Um, we'll find out. I'm gonna try to stay as true to what I did the first playthrough as far as I can remember, because I, I really like the outcomes that I got. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I did that. All right, let's, uh, let's get started with Capital Park again. I cannot believe I did that. Oh, it's okay. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? There are five cyber life stores across the tribe. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. No violence. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. So, um, I had gone a pacifist route. And we're gonna do that again. Look, it's this way, quick! Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. We should be very careful. The store's over here. I'm also gonna try to do these things in the same order that I did them. I don't know if like changing up the order affects anything. That's we are to them. It may or may not. I'm not There's sure. Merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. 
We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Secure the area. Okay. I think I like freed a bunch plaza. of people first. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. You're free. You're free. Free at last. Come join our cause. Uh, I think I went this way. You're free. Found the truck. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. We that's what we want. Uh, we don't want to go in there yet. You're free now. And I think... I think I did the drone afterwards. There. Nobody should bother us now. Area scouted, let's go. Where's that little drone? Oh, person here. You're free. There it is. Too high. No, 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 we can't do that. Far. No, no, no. Always the last one, isn't it? That's the one. Too high. I thought that's the way we went. Oh, that's that's the one we did. Back down. Not the one we did.
too late. Did I do did I do this one? No, yeah, that, that one doesn't work. I swear I went left. See that one? I see that one. Is it this one? Too high. Where did I go? I don't understand. I feel like that's all the options, no? Because if I go all the way back here... Doesn't let me pick any other options. I swear it was this way, but it's not. If I go back here, can I go up higher? Yeah. That's the one. Got it. Okay, so I actually missed that QTE last time. <laughs> I don't I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. Uh, we'll soon find out. I I think we're okay. Um, the only difference was that the cops came and I made out with North and she didn't like that very much. You'll soon be with us. Now the last thing I believe was the window, and then we get the truck. Marcus! You see the alarm system? Found it. Found it. Gotta neutralize this baby. Join the dark side. We have cookies. You're chocolate now. chip cookies. No, white chocolate macadamia cookies. Those cookies slap. Hacker? 
All right. It's truck time. Nice job, Marcus. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. Oh, I got a sneeze. Sorry about that. I think I'm slightly allergic to my mom's what dog, for? which isn't great, considering I'm now living with my mom. Popped up on Let's allergy pills for a while. No, oh, I missed it. Fuck. Thankfully, we got another attempt. I wonder what you'd do without me. Go time, baby! Looks like we're ready to make some noise. end up doing something fun. Alright, homies, come join the party. <laughs> you don't have to obey them. You're free. Oh, it's speech time. Let's go. Marcus, the public speaker. If Marcus was a D&D class, he'd Marcus. be a bard. And just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. 
You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. We're with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. Yeah. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Message. So here we went. Almost entirely pacifist, except I did mess up once and knock over a car. I'm gonna try to not do that this time. I don't think it'll affect much. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Marcus. Oh. I think I did the screens last time. Uh. Hi, Jack? We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and animals. This message is the hope of the a makeover. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. Marcus. Violence is the only language humans understand. Nope. Nope. I want them to understand, but I do not want to start a war. They ain't doing the no violence. Then they won't have a choice. I think I turned the volume up a little too much. Uh, let me turn it down just a tad. See if that's better. over here last time. Oh! Okay, that's a little too violent. That's a, uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Go this way. Got a hundred percent pacifist. Let's go over here. Um, I did. I think, therefore, I am last time, which I really like because it's 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 all about you know you have a soul too. The rest of them are the cars, so yeah, I don't I don't mind not accidentally messing up the cars again. We 
We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Gotta try the other choices first. Can't just jump straight to violence. Otherwise, they're gonna hate us. I just noticed that that was her model. Who? Hate us if we no. do that. Please. Please. Spare. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. this broadcast with breaking news. This just in, at exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop we got 100% pacifists, and they're and still calling slogans. it Police report that a terrorist attack. Android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This Unbelievable. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The freaking media. We were so peaceful. Last time I got, I think it was 96% pacifist because I messed up the cars by accident. Um, <clears throat> this time we got 100% and still, still. Wow. Unbelievable. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Attacked? Okay, buddy. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Who attacked first? Let's be honest. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. What's the med 
you, girl? Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. He's so pretty. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Can I read the magazine? Amanda. Amanda. Wait, what? Amanda died? Huh? I didn't notice that the first time. Why does it say died 0223327? Is Amanda an android? Did she clone herself into an android? What's the date on this magazine? Does it say? I don't think it says the date. Nice girl. Mm. It's here. You're right. She's really pretty. <laughs> I think Connor has a crush. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Uh, distant. I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. <laughs> y you mean your dad? <laughs> I think that's it. When's she coming back? I want to see pretty girl again, please. Oh! Glad you will see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I really don't like the red lining in that pool. <laughs> it looks like he's swimming in blood, honestly. Wow, you're really gonna do one more lap? Okay, bro. Get them games. Whatever helps you sleep at night, I guess. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement 
threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that wrong? Help us, please. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Ooh, neutral. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Mm, troubled, I think, is what I said last time. What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. I was so scared he was gonna hurt her. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Yellow. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. We are not shooting. Uh uh. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. Connor's a deviant. We love it. Oh my god. I saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Oh, we love Connor. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe 
Maybe you did the right thing. Yes, Hank, let's go. <laughs> Hank's such a homie. Oh my god, I love him. Yes. Uh. Okay. Marcus is up. Then I have some alone time. I think I actually read this. Um. <clears throat> And then, uh, I went over here and I looked in the mirror. And then I play some piano. Slam in that space bar. He's an artist, he's a musician. Here to think. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You can feel it in the water. You seem to smell it in the air. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Mm, I think we were determined. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was sincere. in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Understand We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me.
And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> but she's not the girl, right? I From the Connor Hank chapter? No, I don't... I don't think she is. I don't think the timing makes sense. Just funny that it's a similar story. Too. The Eden Club. The death. Of she that loves woman. I, us. Like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Fun North, we're lovers now. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Hello. May I convert you, please? I can give you pamphlets on Jericho. You're free. It comes with a free extended warranty for your car. Still can. Mm. Oh, there's this guy. You're free. Come with us. Yeah, come with us. Through this lady. I was on her phone. You're awake now. Out onto the street. Oh, we gotta block the road. Finally. I've been on hold for like ten minutes. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Hey. You get back here! Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. <laughs> he just okay. That was easy. I need to block the street. Come on. Let's go. You are free. <laughs> Got a party. You're free now. Hey, where are you going? Get back here right now. 
No. Don't tell her what to do. I didn't do this before. Popos. This is Patrol 457. Uh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. Yeah, they're marching Equal down the street. Fuck you, I know. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. How is this illegal? We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. Yeah, Marcus, let's go. This is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. We need to convince North to simmer down this a little. Is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Stand ground. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Stand ground. We're not moving. Yeah, 
show the public how evil y'all are. Sacrifice. Oh my god, what a freaking- I'm gonna cry. I already knew I was gonna have it, I'm still gonna cry, Jesus. Oh, these episodes are so good, y'all. These chapters are so good, these characters. I'm so happy with the way these things ended up, though. Um, so happy. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Detroit Become Human. I will be back next week with another episode. Uh, I don't know how much longer we have in the game. Not really sure. It seems like um, Kara is a little bit farther ahead than the other two. So we're playing a little bit of catch up with Connor and Marcus. Um, so hopefully we'll get to see Kara next week. I'm not really sure. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like the video. Comment your thoughts on how the playthrough is going so far. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, to see more Detroit Become Human. And I'm also posting weekly God of War Ragnarok videos as well. Uh, so feel free to watch my first playthrough of that. Um, thank you so much and I'll see y'all next week. Have a good one.